Okay, let's get down to business on codominance. So we've got two alleles, as usual, but they're going to be both expressed. separately is the key. Okay, so that's different from incomplete dominance where you had kind of a blend or an intermediate phenotype for the heterozygote. In this case, the heterozygote is also going to be a unique phenotype, but it will include both alleles being expressed. So let's look at an example. Let's talk about coat color in cats. So let's assume that uh, there's two alleles. There's B for black fur and white fur, which we'll use big W for. So if you are then genotypes, big B, big B, of course you're going to be black cat. If you're WW, you are white. Now, here's where if you're the heterozygote, you aren't going to be somewhere in between black and white like gray. You're going to be black in some places and white in others. Okay, so let's check out like uh, this cute little kitty here. Black spots, white spots separately. Okay, so both traits being expressed simultaneously. Okay, so that's the key there. So if we have, say, a spotted kitty crossed with another spotted kitty, we can Take a look at the possible offspring. So we're going to get one black cat, two spotted kitties, and one white cat. So we're going to get a one to two to one ratio in terms of both genotypes, so the homozygous dominant, heterozygotes, and the homozygous or the other one, okay? And same goes for phenotype. So black here, and black, white spotted, and white here. One to two to one, okay?